When we are talking about training and education of professionals, we must understand that every profession consists of two parts, knowledge and skills. And knowledge is acquired by learning new facts, new data, uh, some new theories, and this is a process based on cognitive processes. When we are talking about training of new skills, this is about changing the professional's behavior. And very much of this behavior is motivated unconsciously. Very often this motivation is rooted deeply in their childhood or their adolescence experience and also very much in the professional milieu experience, how he or she adapted to his professional surrounding and he feels well in midst of the medical society. But when we are talking about the different skills needed to talk to vaccine hesitant people especially, we are talking about kind of skills which are not about treatment, which are not even about disease or medicine. They are about the motivation of the other person and how this motivation can and should be elicited from inside of himself or herself. It's not me who must impose this motivation. So that means it's a completely different set of skills which is needed in medical practice. So we must help our colleagues to acquire these skills. And this is not wire teaching, it's wire training. And training is actually change produced in action. Not sitting, listening, writing something new, but trying to do something anew and actually making himself or herself more and more accustomed to this new way of behaving. So this is a difference between learning and training. I think that the best moment to teach these new skills is at the moment the medical student first meets the real patient. To create inside his own mind the ability to reflect. And this reflectivity is about the interactional process which goes between him and me, and then ability to analyze what's go, what goes well and what goes wrong in that, and to learn from our own communication process. So we in Vilnius University are teaching these skills on the third year of medical curriculum. We have this course of the professional communication already for 30 years. And this works and the doctors are feeling better and we are getting feedback that it is indeed useful. But when we are talking about professionals who are coming into vaccination field and they feel that they still lack some skills and knowledge about the dealing with hesitancy, this is a moment they should be trained. Because we can't decide what is better, what is worse, when practice needs these steps here and now. So we have to be able to work and train when it's needed.